Hey everybody, it is I here at Life Care Unites Foundation. I am so excited to tell you that the relief shop opens on April 7th. I want to show you how we've gotten things set up so far. Um, we are receiving more donations throughout the week and month. Um, we couldn't fit everything that we got donated in the space, but we try to get as much in here as possible and make it neat and efficient for y'all to come make your appointment and get the things that you need and really like. Mm -hmm. So let me turn the camera around, make sure that my children aren't running around weird first because, you know, that's what children do. So... <laughs> Okay, here we are. So, we are on the top floor of the old Charism building in the Arbors at McCormick Park Apartments. That is 622 23rd Street South in Fargo. When you walk in, you come up the stairs and we've got things a little more organized, much better than when we were in our garage. Yay! <laughs> so it starts here. Um, this is our small voice section. Um, my, my kids and my other volunteers have been so phenomenal getting the clothing organized so it's easier for you to look through. Um, it's not as piled high as it was, you know, last year where you could barely, like, get to anything. So we're just going to put things out a little bit at a time so that once things start to disappear, we can just restock the tables. So we have a lot of really cute things here. I really hope that you'll come out and get what you need. I'm going as slow as I can so that you can really see how things are set up. Yes, all of this stuff was donated by the generous people of Fargo Moorhead. We also had some really generous donations from some community members down in southern Texas. And there'll be more things coming along the way. Uh, so this is like our older child section. We've got lots of jeans. We've got lots of pants. We've got lots of shorts. And we have lots of really cute t-shirts and button-up shirts. And, oh, a random bottle of water that we're just going to move. I want you to be able to see everything we have so far. Ooh, man, I'm loving that we have all these different styles of pants because people have different tastes. We have some really cute little dresses and stuff. I really like this. I don't know who will be blessed by this, but you should totally come get this dress. Oh my gosh. I'm so jealous that I'm not thin enough to fit into this. <laughs> and then we've moved further down the older child section. We've got some sports shirts. We've got some dress shirts. And we've got some just going to school shirts, staying in the house shirts. And oh my goodness, these adorable little hats. I love it, love it, love it. Now, just because we don't really have, like, do the space, we have a few items out here for home decor. Some, you know, just regular old picture frames. If you're starting out and you don't have very much, we do want you to come and get some things so that Life can be fun and enjoyable while you're rebuilding. Um, this is actually a box of dishes. Not the ones on the box, but there are other dishes inside. It's a nice set to get you started. So, you know, again, come and make an appointment. Get what you need. It's all free. We don't believe in charging people for God's blessings. And as I pan the camera, you will notice one of my wonderful volunteers and children 
eating her well-earned snack for all of the work she's done hanging up these clothes on the racks behind you. All right, so the table right right here, that one's, that's kind of like a work in progress. We're going to focus on the jewelry. Yes, yes, an abundance of jewelry, different kinds and variations. We've got some... Uh, some hoop earrings, we've got necklaces, um, we also have, I think, I think this is another type of necklace, and I believe we have a bracelet, let me see where the bracelets are, these are supposed to be bracelets, yes, yes, wonderful, mm -hmm. so please, please come out and be blessed to get some very nice things, just because people are in circumstances does not mean that they should be given things that are not beautiful and well kept so let me keep going again that's not dishes <laughs> this is actually our um i guess our book and media section so again, all of the things you see here were donated by the wonderful community. We have lots of books from children's books to instruction manuals to self-help books to spiritual guidance. Uh, we have magazines. I believe we also have a sketchbook in here somewhere. Um, we have some DVDs and then we have VHS for people who come from the way back. <laughs> Uh, we have a complete collection here, if you want to see that. This is a VHS collection. Uh, just to show you some of the books that we have, uh, we have My Sister's Keeper here. Uh, let's see, underneath that, we have Fable Haven. And I know this is a pretty popular series uh, for young people, so you may want to come out and and get this book and bless yourself all right um and in this box um this is something i personally donated this is all filled with ps2 games i believe there's like 30 yeah there's like 30 in here so you won't get bored um but it's a whole box whether you take the whole box or you take one game i'm not judging so, it is here for you. Please come and get what you need. Now, the clothes. OMG. A wonderful community member gave us a really good deal on these clothing racks. So, now you don't have to pick off of tables and in boxes for everything. <laughs> it's all hung up. We have um, the extra small medium section and we also have a plus size section on the other rack. Um, this is a combination of pants, of skirts, of, of little sweater tops, of t-shirts, of blouses. So um, we want you to definitely come and be blessed and get what you need. Lots of different styles and brands. All of this donated by the generous people of Fargo Moorhead. On this top rack, we have like some of the cutest shoes. So sparkly and fashionable and it's warming up people so I know I'm gonna see y'all rocking these flats and these sandals and heels please come and make your appointment get what you need get something you like come and be blessed you can definitely shop for someone else too um, if a person that you know would really benefit from um, our relief shop, you can definitely come shop on their behalf. I'm going to show you the next rack because this is the plus size and there are more plus size clothes than this, but this is all we could fit on this rack before it would break. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's just see. Oh, look, we have the classic mini polka dot shirt. I love it, love it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. And we have a little kind of um, chic little wrap tight shirt. Oh, this is cute. Look at the prints on this. Oh, 
it's flower time we've got something springy you should really really come and get this and then of course for people who are you know just needing to stay warm we've got the whole you know classic sweatshirt but it's purple and purple is so cute you should really come and get this moving along let's see oh wait a minute i see another little cute one <gasps> this look at this one this rat goes from large to 2x so you'll see some things that might look a little small but um you know everybody is built differently and brands are also different for body sizes so please come look through what is here get what you need come and be blessed on the top of this rack is more cute shoes. Like me, I'm sad in a way that I cannot fit these beautiful orange sandal heels. Well, I should say wedge. If we come and look a little bit more to the left, we've got a whole bunch of different styles here. There's actually more shoes that I'm gonna show you here in a second. But I just wanted to show you what's on the top of this rack. Like, OMG, people are so generous to give these wonderful things to bless people with. And if that's not cool enough, somebody in Texas donated a whole bunch of hats. I'm going to try to zoom out. Oh, there we go. I can't get too much closer because of how things are set up. But we have a nice hat rack. So come and pick something out. You'll notice that there's purses and backpacks and little bags hung up all throughout the relief shop. They are totally there for you to take. Now at this time we don't have them filled with anything special, but hopefully we'll be getting some more donations of hygiene supplies so that we can bless you with that. Uh, we do have a few little hygiene kits put together, and so if you need some, we'll definitely hook you up. Oh my gosh, look at this backpack. Very nice, very nice. Okay, now the rest of the shoes that we have, like an explosion as always. Like even when we were in our garage, it was like always so many shoes. So let me just kind of zoom over. You can see we have some boots back here. Ooh, these little pink ones. And bunny slippers. Someone's going to love those. Um, we have a lot of men's shoes thanks to our generous donor in Southern Texas. He sent some really great, like, fubus and polos and all kinds of great stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Here we've got these brown ones. We've got some tennis shoes. Oh, these ones. These ones are so nice. I don't know what size they are, but you should totally, totally come get some shoes. And then uh, penny loafers with pennies in the loafers. Now that is G style. <coughs> and we have our other section of shoes. It kind of keeps going into the um tennis shoes on this side and then we have an assortment of kid shoes at different you know different sizes uh, let's see yep sneakers we have a little pair of dress shoes right here all these little red uh flats are cute and then as you keep going there's some mixed in heels and there's sandals just want to make sure you get to see what's available. We have all of these wonderful things here for y'all to come and get. We want people to be blessed. We want you to be happy. We want you to get things that you need. And we have one more section. I'm going to go over to the back wall because we hung up as many like coats, jackets, and like robes and things as we could. I won't be able to hear if you keep doing that. <laughs> so let me turn the camera around. 
You're okay, Aurora. <laughs> okay, so you can come in when you come up the stairs, and this rack is, like, right when you walk in. It's an assortment of, like, hoodies and turtlenecks and coats and jackets, you know, all different types of fall and winter wear. And uh, this, this is a good find. This is a bathrobe. Oh, and then we've got this back here. I'm trying to tiptoe so you can kind of see what's back there. We can totally turn this rack around for you so that you can keep looking. All right, so then we're just going to pan out one more time so that you can see the whole space. Yes. We're just so happy to be able to provide this for the community. There is a great need, and we are happy to be one of the resources available where you can come and get things, and, you know, nobody's judging. Nobody's going to ask you 20 questions, the who, what, why. This section is what we have for shopping boxes and bags right now. So... Shopping boxes and bags, we try our best to make sure there's things for you to put your uh, clothes and other things in. If you want to bring your own bag, that's not a problem. We're totally encouraged that. But just know that we do try to keep these on hand. You'll notice that they're pretty large boxes because, you know, we do help a lot of families, not just individuals. And people who are shopping for others because they can't make it themselves. Um, you know, you can't do very much with, you know, a small box like this if you're shopping for, like, three other people. So, <clears throat> just wanted to let you know that we do have some, some bags and things available. But if you want to bring your own bag to shop with, then that's totally okay. Okay, so... The shop is open on Wednesdays and Fridays, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The last appointment that we can book is at 4 p.m. We allow two shoppers per appointment booked. We will only do a maximum of three appointments in an hour. We do that because we don't want to create a hot bed for COVID and we want people to be able to maneuver in here and shop without it being cluttered or crowded. So we also cannot operate after five because the building is supposed to be closed by that time. So please make an appointment. Um, our online appointment situation is kind of, we're having a technical difficulty because it's not allowing us to book the way that's efficient for y'all. So at this time, if you want to email us, if you want to call, uh, you can also text us. Call or text 701-313-1500. And we will be happy to schedule an appointment for you. Uh, we also accept referrals through YouthWorks, Jeremiah Program, and F5 Project at this time. So if you are someone who is receiving services through those organizations, please let them know that you'd like to come and shop with us, and we will definitely get you booked. Again, I am so excited for the community. We just are so just getting a call. So we want y'all to feel blessed. Nobody's going to make you feel any kind of way. I want you to get the things that you need and want. I want you to be mindful of others. Take what you need in moderation. We will be restocking the store all the time with donations. We still have half a garage full of donations to get out. 
and then some in our storage here. So I don't ever want anyone to feel like they're going to miss out. So we're going to be here Wednesdays and Fridays, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We really hope to see you. We really want to help you. Thank you so much.